I work terrible. I love meeting people from all over the place. You know, you, you learn all these different things and about people and traveling. And I come from a tiny island, uh, Molokai. It has one high school, four elementaries, no stoplight. The recorded for population is related and uh, everything is subsistence. So you either fish, farm, or hunt. I come from a family of big Polynesian men and men don't scare me. I became a city girl, so I'm very versatile. So I go from being farm girl on this little island to Alaska and living in the middle of nowhere and living in rural, haul your own water, no electricity. Now I buy Kentucky and they're like, oh, you're living in rural. And I'm like, town that's 20 minutes away. <laughs> My husband and I left state service. We were working uh, for the state of California and our children had just moved out of the house and we thought, what will we do with the next chapter of our lives? and uh, decided to travel so we could see the rest of the state. I don't have to manage anyone, I don't have to supervise anyone, and um, I have the freedom to make my own choices. Um, when my day is gonna start, but you know, where, possibly where I wanna go. Um, we make a call and say, hey, we wanna go here. Can you find us a load here? Within reason, our dispatcher usually gets us where we need to go. I love being alone in the truck. <laughs> I want to drive at night because the rest of the four wheelers of the cars aren't as busy, traffic's not as busy, air's clean. I like the nightlight, it's quiet. It gets a little crazy, but other than that, it's, it's actually kind of nice to see the world when it wakes up in the morning. When we first started trucking, we went with a company that did not care. We ended up in a blizzard in Missouri with no heat. Uh, no AC that had been going on for months. The only experience I could fall back on was my 10 years living in Alaska and working on cars and never breaking down in the middle of Alaska. But it's very brutal to be in, I, I think Wyoming hadn't had a blizzard like this in years. And you have to weigh your decision to, should you keep trucking? Should you keep moving? Because if you move, you could have an accident and you can't see. And by then the windshield was iced over and there was nothing to see. And if you park it, what happens if you get stuck and the snow pops can't come to you for at least a day or two and there's no heat? Where are you gonna know? As soon as we got back into Arizona, we left. Find a company and research a company that's going to, that cares about the safety of their vehicles, the safety of their driver. You don't know what other trucking companies are gonna be like. The way I found GP was researching. You hear and you can ask other drivers on the road, and I do. We stay because of the dependability. And after that first trucking company, from there on I did my research to see who treated women well, because I gotta think on that side besides not just my husband, but I have to think for myself too, because I, you know, I'm in this strange world that's just got, you know, men in it. There's hardly any women in there. Today there's more, but it can be kind of scary. And I don't wanna be put in that kind of position. So GP uh, checkmarked all the boxes. The first call I made was to ask questions about the company. And my rule of thumb is, I might be going in for an interview for a job, but I'm going to interview you. Not only do you want to see if I will work well for you, but you have to work well for me, because I'm a very hard person to have on the team. And understanding that makes it go far, so I call. Johnny answers, and I'm thinking, I'm going to ask all these questions I want to know about your company, and not knowing he's interviewing me on the spot. We had a lot of things in common as far as driving and being on the road. So, uh, and he was able to answer every question about safety. GP is always on it. The maintenance staff, all the maintenance technicians, they're quick, they're fast. GP have always been quick to respond to any breakdowns. The maintenance tech 
I pulled in one night, and of course they all know me, I guess I kind of stick out, and you guys have been super busy. And I think he didn't realize I needed this work done, so it wasn't done yesterday. Did you look into it? And he goes, of course. And he came back later, he said, it's all done, it's all fixed. He goes, it's got my name behind it, and I always do good work. I stand behind what I fix. So that phrase, I stand behind what I repair, goes far. And that's every one of those guys, that's what they do for me. There's a lot of people that disagree with me on many points, which I just kind of keep to myself. And I'm like, it's cool. about your attitude. I don't have a terrific attitude. I am the worst attitude out there. But um, if you treat the team with respect, they'll treat you with respect. Everybody here has always been good to us from top to bottom. There's always a good attitude on every employee that I come across. Yo, I love GP. I mean, there's downsides to it, but that's my own issue. But for the most part, this is probably one of my favorite companies to look for. I saw the truck. As I drive throughout the country, I look at all the trucks, but doing the research, it's a great company. But GP at the time stuck out and it just worked as far as if I had to make an emergency trip to Hawaii, the pay worked out really well, and the trucks always went good. They're always detailed. The attitude of the employees, what the grounds look like, because if you care about your company, you're gonna take pride in your trucks, your maintenance on the land and the building. And if your employees, the internal, if the internal employees look happy, then it's probably a good company. I'd like to say if your drivers are happy, that would be a good indication too. There's always gonna be good and bad, no matter where you go as far as driver opinions, but you have to take a look at the driver themselves, you know. But really, most of the drivers we came across when we started were very happy, and the employees treated us quite well. And the fact that they allowed your dogs to go with you during orientation, why didn't you bring your dog? Well, because we're in orientation. Oh no, you can bring your dog. Go during lunch hour, take the company car and go and get the dog. I'm like, okay. Both our families are from Hawaii. I try not to go to Hawaii. But as we get older, you know, our families get older. So I went home like six times in one year. And um, there was no issues. You know, GP didn't give me any hassles and I off I went to care of my family business. GP makes it easy to come to work. Like, if we didn't like it, we'd, we'd probably go home a lot more often. They give us the tools that we need to make everyday decisions. If I call ahead, maintenance guides will leave any supplies that I ask for behind the desk with my name on it and I grab it and I go. If I need wipers, anything I need, any small thing, they, they leave the supplies for me and that's, you know, I can't call every company and go, hey, I'm, I'm on my way in, I'll be here for about an hour, and I, I gotta go, can you have my stuff ready? These guys, they're on it. You know, and when I come in, they usually say, oh, no, we can't do anything for you because we're, we're so busy. But when I come in, the guys go, okay, yeah, I, would, I, can, I can probably take a look at it. You know, and that's all I'm asking. I would say GP Transco is a great company to work for if you have a good attitude, open mind, and you're willing to work with everyone you share. Everyone is willing to work with you. It's a great company.